he's gonna be like, ah, honey, I know. Um, what's some other chick shit that we can do? Hey, you want to go see the broad with the dragon tattoo above her ass? I'd love to see that movie. All right, let's go. So we go down the street. We go see the, the chick with the dragon tattoo above her ass, right? Little fucking slut. And I'm watching the movie. That's one of my things. I like action movies that have a female, a badass woman as the lead. You know? I think they've just done the guy too many fucking times. I'm a child of the 80s. I saw it a zillion times. I saw every Schwarzenegger, every Stallone, every Chuck Norris, every Jean-Claude Van Damme, every... Who's the guy there who used to be an actor and now he's a cop? And he calls everybody cuz. Where's the gun, cuz? <laughs> he speaks in, like, good times jive in 2012. Cuz, where you going? Come on up over here. Put your hands up in there. Y'all ain't got no crack up in there? You look like there's some crack up in there. Steven Seagal. I saw all of his fucking movies. And, uh, you know, once I saw... All, like, collectively, those 200 movies. Uh, Believe it or not, I started to notice a pattern. (laughs) And things became a little cliched. So now they got, you know, so then they kind of backed off the badass guy movie for a while. Right? Sort of became more about what the badass guy was saying. More the dialogue kind of badass shit. Tarantino shit came in. The Reservoir Dogs, the Pulp Fictions. Then I got on board with that. But I still miss just the regular old ass-kicking fucking superstar. So one day they go, you know, what if we made the exact same movie except the lead was a fucking lady? And then you know what? I was right on board. It it became new again. It's like when they, they take an old white movie and then they just make it black. You know, it's the same movie, except now it's black people, and I'm fucking right in there. Guess who's coming to dinner this time? Ah, now it's a white guy. Did you tell them that I'm white? You're white? You're white? Stop the car! Oh, I'm fucking sitting there watching it. I mean, there's only so many storylines. What is Hollywood supposed to do? Do you realize how fucking bad movies are going to be in the year fucking, uh, where the hell are we, 2012? In the year 2100, the only thing that's really going to change is the technology. The Pixar, the perfect storm wave. You know, at that point, they'll probably have somebody throwing a bucket of water in your face as you're watching it, you know? The movie is so good, one of my friends drowned. Right? That's the only thing. But in the the <laughs> at the end of the day, it's going to be the same fucking movie. So I go down there. I go down to the little movie house down to the cinema. And I come walking in. And I go, let me get two tickets to the uh, the chick with the tramp stamp right above her asshole. And they go, sir, you can't use that kind of language. What the fuck you mean? You're showing rated R movies. And she goes, oh, that's a good point. That didn't happen, but I wish it did. And uh, so we got the tickets. I go in there, get a big fucking Kit Kat. We sit out. We start watching this thing. And I'm watching this movie, and 20 minutes in, I fall asleep. Not because it's boring, just because I'm old. I'm at that level. All right, you give me a, 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 just a halfway comfortable fucking chair, and you turn the lights out. I mean, that's it. All of a sudden, my head gets he- heavy, you know? I'm like a fucking toddler. I can't hold his goddamn head up. Or maybe an infant. I don't know. I have any kids, you know? You know when their head feels like a Nerf basketball? That age, all right? If you don't hold them up, the fucking little baby esophagus starts curving like a question mark, right? That age, that's what I feel like. So, (laughs) does anything make your girl madder than if you fall asleep in a movie? Shut up, Classy! Oh, hell no! What? Oh, hell no, your Down syndrome ass just slapped me. I'm going to break your dick off. Hang on, Classy, I'm sorry. Are you sleeping? No, no, I'm just really thinking about the plot. <laughs> it's so deep, man. This movie's so heavy. So uh, I thought the movie was all right. It was all right. And the chick was badass. Oh, 
Look at you! Who are you dressed as? I'm Andre 3000 the Giant. Oh, so fresh and so Jean. Who are you, Louise? I'm a dragon with a girl tattoo. Ooh, you flipped the script. What do you mean? And what are you, Tina? I'm none of your business. Okay, jeez. When I'm beastin', I smash the track like Easton Money where my mouth be, I'm straight cheesin' Fuck, I'ma break even Bucks in production or else I'm leadin' Roll models with bottles that you better believe in I let them know where it originated Y'all imitators making music while we...